At Tech Team, we manufacture and sell a wide range of clamps. They range from gear clamps, like the ones we have here on the left, over to uh, double wire clamps and T-bolt clamps. What we've found is that sometimes it's not so easy to measure a rubber hose or tube and end up getting the correct size clamp. This can be a little frustrating and also end up uh, wasting a lot of time. Therefore, we thought we'd take a few moments to uh, give you a couple suggestions on the best and easiest ways to measure a hose or tube so you end up getting the exact correct size clamp. When you have something like this gear clamp, because the gear cut goes for quite a ways, this particular clamp can uh, actually satisfy a wide range of sizes. You might say, well, if that's the case, let me just get a large size gear clamp and I'll use that for all my applications. Problem there, of course, is that using a large clamp like this for a small hose ends up with a long tail hanging out. In addition, it of course adds unnecessary cost to the application. Now you take a clamp like this T-bolt clamp or this double wire clamp, you have a fairly limited range of adjustment. This means that you have to get the exact correct size clamp, otherwise you're going to have a problem. If we have something rigid like this irrigation fitting, it's easy to get a good, accurate reading on the diameter. If we have something like this uh, rubber hose, we have a different type of situation because it's very difficult to get the tube to be exactly round. We can get close, but we may not get it exactly right, in which case we're going to end up with a clamp that's not going to fit. When we get to something bigger like this, well, we really can't get our caliper around it to get a, a good idea of what the diameter is. Something else to keep in mind is that the clamp goes on the outside diameter of the hose or tubing. This means that you have to measure the outside diameter of whatever it is the tube is going over and then add double the thickness of the tube to come up with the correct diameter for the clamp. Of course, you can also measure the outside diameter of the rubber hose or tube that the clamp is going to fit to. The question, of course, is how do we do this for something that's not exactly round? Just for example, here we show roughly two and a half inches in one dimension and two inches in the other. And what do we do to get the exact size outside diameter so we can get a clamp with the correct inside diameter? We are going to give you a couple of ideas, for example, but you'll be able to figure this out pretty quick and probably come up with some good alternatives. Here we're going to put a cable tie around our hose, all right? And that's going to go around, and it doesn't matter what the shape of the hose is. If it's egged or if it's round, the cable tie is still going to go around the entire circumference, and then we lock it in place. Now it's simply a matter of cutting that cable tie right there like that. And we know that the circumference of that hose is from this end that we clipped right up here to the ratcheting fitting on the cable tie. This is something that we can easily measure. We put our cable tie up against our tape measure here and we see that from the end we cut up to the ratcheting fitting here is exactly seven inches. Now all we have to do is take that seven inches which is the circumference of the outside of that hose and convert it into a diameter. That diameter will become our basis for selecting the correct clamp size. Now we need to go back in time and uh, reference some uh, high school geometry and we know that the relationship between the circumference and diameter of a circle is pi and pi is 3.14159 but we'll just call it 3.1416 inches for the purpose of this exercise. We also know that the circumference of a circle is pi times the diameter. Consequently, the diameter of a circle is the circumference divided by pi. We know that our circumference is 7 inches, so we just simply need to divide 7 by pi to come up with the diameter of the outside of that hose. And here we go. 7 divided 3.1416 and we come up with 2.228 which is really close to 2.25 or two and a quarter inches. Of course we want to plan for a little excess range when we're doing this exercise so therefore 
we'd want a clamp that would be able to tighten down as tight as one and three quarter or two inches at least. Uh, and if it opens up wider than that, say to two and a half, three inches, that's also okay. But we just want to make sure that the lower end, we're able to get a clamp that's going to fit on this tight enough to perform the application that we need. Okay, we know that not everybody has a cable tie hanging around, so here's an alternative. And here we're using some just regular black electrical tape. We're putting it around and overlapping the end. Then we're going to cut it off. Now I've got a good snug fit there. We overlap one end over the other, like that. And now we want to make a cut through both pieces of tape at the same time, like that. You need a sharp knife to get this done easily. Now the one piece of tape is stuck on top of the other one here, which is exactly what we want. We unpeel this, and we just go back and measure it just like we did with the cable tie, and we'll come up with seven inches, and we go through the arithmetic again, and bingo, we know what size clamp we need to get. 